I'm Joshua P. Warren, and for over 20 years I have traveled all over the world professionally investigating paranormal phenomena. Uh, you may have seen some of my work on the Travel Channel, Discovery, History, Nat Geo, Animal Planet, Sci-Fi, TLC. I've worked on feature projects with companies like Warner Brothers. And naturally, people ask me all the time, you know, what's the creepiest place that you've ever been to? Because I've been to some good ones. I mean, just recently I was investigating Transylvania. But it's been frustrating for me because the creepiest place I've ever been to is a place that for years I haven't been able to talk about. Uh, I was literally threatened if I talked about this because it was such a sensitive scenario. But some years have passed now. I've looked into it and... I think it's my right to tell this story. Uh, the creepiest place that I investigated was a house in western North Carolina next to the site of a massacre. It was a massacre that occurred in 1863 called the Shelton Laurel Massacre. And even though it was a Civil War era incident, it wasn't like, you know, North fighting South. I mean, this was a scenario in which some Southern soldiers tortured and murdered a group of Southerners because they suspected them of doing things that I don't think they were doing. There was even a 13-year-old boy involved. There was a young woman involved. And uh, it was such a horrible incident, it's not surprising that it produced this chilling haunting. It was so bad that at this house near the site where a woman and her daughter lived, they actually were being so terrorized they literally fled the property before I could even finish my research. And that's when I was told by people like, you can't talk about this. So I, th I think this story, it has to be told. And I not only want to tell this story, but I want to incorporate authentic paranormal imagery in a way that has never been done before in a motion picture. So I wrote this feature length screenplay called Shelton Marl Massacre. And I'm going to co-produce it I'm going to direct it. I'll also be on screen some telling how this story unfolded. And I think that in order for me to do this properly, since I was there and I actually saw how all this happened, I need complete freedom to do this. And so that's why I'm turning to you. Um, I'm hoping to make this a completely independent project so that a good story can be told no holds barred. I mean, this will be an R-rated film, and there's a lot of action, there's a lot of historical integrity. There are some of the scariest things I believe that you've ever seen or will ever see in your life. And it's all true. So we plan to shoot this thing in Western North Carolina, around the areas where it happened. In fact, we're out here scouting locations today. But I cannot make this without your help. So I'm asking, asking you to please participate. Um, you'll be proud that you were a part of this movie. And I'm so passionate about this, I can assure you that I will be devoting my entire life to making this a great film. You'll be one of the very first people to get a copy of the film. And depending on your level of participation, there are a lot of other cool things that we're gonna do to show you how much we appreciate you and that we certainly have not forgotten you. And we know that this movie could not be done properly by anybody else or by any other circumstances. So please help us make this film. It will be fun to watch. It'll be gripping. It'll be creepy as hell. And um, I think that you will understand fully why I want to make it so much. So I hope you'll help. And uh, hopefully soon you'll be watching Shelton Laurel Massacre. Thank you.